Well, hello everybody and welcome to your language teaching and learning channel. And this is where we share tips, uh, ideas, suggestions and facts about uh, learning and teaching a language, right? And the objective is for us to understand why certain things happen and certain problems that we face when we're learning a language and use this knowledge to our advantage in order to overcome these little difficulties that we may have. Um, last video we mentioned the example that we may be doing a test and you know there are a couple of questions that we cannot answer and we're thinking to ourselves oh my god but we did this yesterday or the day before and uh, I understood everything why can't I do it now? We mentioned it's because of the fact that whatever we do in the classroom okay 80% of what we do we will forget in 24 hours okay however uh, we also mentioned that it's important to practice and review what you do in the classroom. And uh, if you sit down and really review what you do in the classroom, think about the examples, maybe do the exercises over, record yourself, whatever. And it doesn't even have to take long. If you do this like for 10 or 20 minutes, instead of forgetting 80%, you will probably remember 80%. Okay? So this is very important. And uh, also, one of the problems that students have is that they get used to, uh, before an exam, they, they get used to cramming and staying up until the wee hours, uh, cramming for the exam. And what happens the next day? Usually, yeah, the students manage to pass the exam, correct? What you don't realize is the fact that because you crammed and then you did the test, it's less than 24 hours, you see? and everything you memorize, whatever, in two or three days, you will have forgotten, right? So this is very important to remember, okay? Because this is something that we cannot afford to do when it comes to learning a language, right? Similar to mathematics. Okay, we learn mathematics, the basics, addition and subtraction, when we're in primary, maybe second, third grade. But, you know, we can't say, okay, I learned it, I passed the test, and I'll forget about it. No, because you will always use that for the rest of your life, you see. When it comes to language, okay, you, similar idea, you can't say, oh, okay, I passed the test on a simple present, I'll forget about it, because I'll never use it again. In language, you will always be using different vocabulary, different tenses, depending on the situations, according to what arises, you see. So this is very important, that's why we cannot afford to do that, right? And uh, this is all based also on the, what we mentioned in another video, the secret to learning a language. And the secret was to practice. From the old expression, practice makes perfect, right? But we also mentioned that, uh, and this usually causes frustration with students, you see, because they say, but I've been practicing and I just don't improve. And it's probably because you're not practicing correctly. So yes, practice makes perfect, but you need to practice correctly. Now we've been talking about listening. And uh, we mentioned that uh, maybe students, again, they're frustrated. Yeah, but I'm, I'm watching videos in English, I'm watching movies in English, my favorite series in English, and I don't improve my listening. And then we ask, well, are you watching with subtitles? Yes, I'm watching with, but the subtitles are in English you're not practicing listening correctly. You see, what you're doing when you have the subtitles, you're practicing reading, not listening. And sure, it's easy to read, right? Now, remove the subtitles, and then you will start practicing listening. Okay? It may be difficult for you, especially if you're used to using the subtitles. It may be difficult in the beginning, but you'll get used to it. Okay? And use the technology to your advantage. Especially in the beginning, you know, don't get used to subtitles. Uh, you're watching the video, there's a specific part that you need to understand. Okay, play it again two or three times. And if you still don't understand, or even if you do understand what they say, put the subtitles on and then check it again. Okay? If you didn't understand, you know, you will read, oh, what are you going to do? Oh, but they pronounce what you're going to do. Oh, that's what it means, okay? And then play it again, but without the subtitles, you see? You're associating the writing with the speaking, right? So use the, uh, the technology to your advantage, and then definitely you will, pro you will improve your listening, right? Because in English, especially, 
we don't pronounce the same way that we write. Okay? So that's something that you need to keep in mind. And this is why I asked you in the, one of the first videos to compare learning a language to another skill, uh, completely different, like riding a bicycle, learning how to swim, uh, uh, skateboarding, playing a new instrument, skiing. Okay? Maybe you've practiced one of those skills, or uh, you've practiced all of them, I don't know, but if you've been practicing them for quite a while, you're probably pretty good now. But try to think back to the beginning one, or the first day that you, you tried to do one of those activities. What happened? Okay? If it was uh, maybe skiing or biking or skateboarding, you probably fell a lot of times in the beginning, right? But now you're pretty good. How did you get there? By practicing. It's the same with the language, you see? Uh, just the other day, I read about a, an 11 year old kid, a skateboarder who broke the record, the world record, uh, by doing three turns. Um, you know, a 1080 turn, they called it. Do you think he got there just overnight by thinking about it? No. He probably practiced a lot, right? So it's the same with the language. You need to practice it correctly in order to improve it, right? Uh, we also talked about technology, how technology has improved. And, uh, you know, let's compare it to the bicycle, right? Uh, 40 years ago, you had a three-speed bicycle, or the best you had was like a 10-speed bicycle with the handlebars like this. Now you have an incredible, uh, uh, an amazing amount of bikes that are different and prices and everything else, right? You have uh, 21, 28-speed bikes, a different braking system, better technology, they're lighter but stronger, right? However, if I give you a 40-year-old bike or a brand new bike, modern bike, the skill is still the same. In either bike, you will fall. How do you improve? By practicing, whether it's an old bike or whether it's the new bike. The skill that you need to learn it is still the same. And the same with uh, learning a language. Okay? The skill that you need to improve it is practice it. Practice it. Right? Practice correctly, and then you will improve, right? And the last thing, please don't be afraid to make mistakes, okay? I know uh, it's hard sometimes to admit that you made a mistake, and especially in some cultures, you know, people don't see like, ooh, I made a mistake, ooh, it's a sin. It's okay, it's normal to make mistakes, especially when it comes to a language, right? Don't be afraid, just make a mistake. What's the worst that can happen, right? If you're riding a bike or skiing or skateboarding, and if you fall, you make a mistake, if you're anything like me, you will have stitches to prove it. Okay, I have four on my leg, eight over here, different things that I tried. Right? But when it comes to a language, no physical harm. The worst that can happen is maybe your classmates are, or your friends will laugh at you and you say, well, you pronounced it wrong. Oh, how do you say it this way? Ah, oh, okay, perfect. You learned and you continue. All right? very important so uh, next videos we will be talking about reading how to read correctly in order to improve your listening comprehension uh, in this video we used uh, some uh, special vocabulary like uh, uh, wee hours cramming okay don't forget to watch my friend Chuck on Chuckadelphia he talks about uh, special vocabulary and specific situations and expressions and everything else It'll be good to improve your listening also, to practice listening if you remove the subtitles. Okay? I look forward to seeing you next week when we'll be talking about reading. Thank you very much and take care.